And what does come out from their studies is that um, from patients, from families who've had to make very difficult decisions, the quality of the communication that they had with the clinical professionals affects how they view whether the situation with their loved one went right or went wrong. Not whether their loved one died or you know got very sick, but they actually, when families are asked to think about what happened, the communication piece governs how they view things. So I think that's a, a really important principle for us to keep in mind. Communication needs to be broad-based. It needs to go way beyond speech-language pathology or whatever discipline we're working at. And we actually need to negotiate information giving. How much can this family take on at this point? How much do they want to take on at this point? What could be left till later? And the very fine balance of ensuring we're giving information to our families that's information they need when they need it, whilst also not letting them get too far down a track without getting an important piece of information. And that's a very fine balancing act, which makes us clinicians and not technicians. Advising the family to not come to therapy unless they follow recommendations for feeding and swallowing denies that family access to services. It would be important to discover why the family continues to offer thin liquids without willingness to modify utensils. Opening a conversation related to causal factors may give the treating clinician insight into the patient, family, and caregiver values and beliefs. B. Since the family may have misperceptions related to medical issues, it further reinforces the need for the clinician to listen carefully, respectfully, and compassionately to the family's beliefs, even if there's no evidence to support their preferred intervention. However, it also supports how imperative it is to preserve two tenets of evidence-based practice found in the ASHA code. Principle one, the benefit of the therapy resolution must be reasonably expected.